You know, and it's funny, I've been having a hard time pronouncing the workshop name. Have people been saying that? Slit? Like, slud? Called slud? Maybe. Uh, huh? No, see, I can't do that. <laughs> My name is Victor Vanson. I'm the founder of No Right Brand Left Behind, and this is Slate. It's a workshop to reinstill creativity in education. We're working with nine designers and design thinkers to come up with a prototype that will hopefully be implementable in the school in fall 2013. We're trying to solve a lot of problems through this workshop, uh, mainly focusing on ninth grade students uh, learning algebra and biology. And so some of the problems that we're trying to solve for is figuring out creative ways, and empowering teachers to teach students and to make them engage and have them learning in all different types of ways. So on the first day, we brought a lot of uh, really diverse people together, people from all kinds of fields like game design, user experience design, product design. When we put them into small groups on the first day and prompted them to come up with 100 ideas on 100 different post-its, so really rapid ideation. And on the second day, they kind of started to filter that down where they were pinpointing what are maybe our three favorite concepts and directions that we can run with. On uh, day three, they've kind of been tinkering with the Makey Makey and are starting to work together as bigger groups uh, to create a prototype to bring one of those kind of wacky ideas to reality, to something that could be tested. So I'm participating in the workshop really because it's an opportunity to kind of work with people that you don't know, but you know that you're working within the same space. Take our skills and really implement it in a meaningful way. These moments of rapid prototyping, of, of bringing people who are capable of making and generating ideas and get from, you know, a problem to a proposed solution and only having the course of several evenings, really interesting, powerful things happen when you have to get something done so quickly. Today we went to Locke High School in South uh, LA, which is near Watts. Our initial intent of going was to be able to uh, user test some of our prototypes that we've built over the last couple of days, but to have the opportunity to be able to sit in and to actually watch like a class being taught was also really enlightening. Um, so workshops like this teach the beauty of failure as part of the iterative process. So here you've got young, passionate people. The country they want to be a part of is a country in which everyone has equal opportunity. And I think what was so moving is that they are looking to try and do the hardest thing possible no resources and do all these things that we think of that, that good schools should do. And so it was a tremendously difficult problem. And they came up with two very powerful foundational solutions that we could sort of scaffold a lot of stuff on top of and build real interfaces for. That if we were to somehow expand this process across our nation and open the windows of public education to let it in, uh, we could see a real revolution in, in our schools.